Trent Bradshaw, Brandon Rogers, Bradshaw Financial Planning and Mind Your Money. Today is May the 5th, 2022. Just wanted to come back and give you a market update. Uh, had the Fed meeting yesterday in regards to interest rates. Uh, we'll touch on that, discuss how that should impact or could impact the market as we move forward. All right, Brandon, May 5th, had the big rate increase yesterday of about a half a point. Which was expected. Which was expected, so which was expected. But it really defines how difficult this market is right now yeah. as far as finding a direction. Because the Fed is going to be committed to trying to tame inflation and trying to bring uh, the balance sheet down which all that money they pumped in during COVID, they're trying to pull back out. We knew this would have an impact on the market, but yesterday during his speech, he confirmed that the board members and also himself were not considering 0.75% increases as we move forward during these meetings. And the market really interpreted that as being a dovish statement or more lenient statement or right. patient statement in regards to increasing interest rates going forward. He did commit though to a half a point during the next meeting on June 15th, half a point on June or July 27th. Uh, but look at the overall reaction of the market. I mean, the market went up 900 points in a matter of an hour and a half. Yeah. And that's how difficult it is to judge the direction of the market and what's gonna happen with the market. But then we come in this morning market gives it all back because it's digesting some of that news. So kind of layer in how that impacts the decision process and maybe what we're doing in the portfolios. It, it, again, it's a difficult yeah. thing. I mean, and I think just to kind of keep going on what you're talking about with the Fed is that as long as he is clear and he tries to set the expectation and actually follows through on those expectations, that's good. Because like you said, he did increase at 50 basis points, which Again, if he did 75, that wouldn't, out of the blue, that would have been bad. So at least he's kind of telling us that, hey, 75 is probably not on the table at the moment, um, and we're going to try to keep doing this 50 basis point increase. Well, and I think everybody out there, especially us in the past, you know, everybody's relied on the Fed put, which basically means when the market gets in trouble, the economy gets in trouble, the Fed comes to the rescue. Um, not so sure that's the case this time. I, I guess a better term, and I, and I heard it from one analyst yesterday, that it may be a situation where the Fed is just trying to punt it down the road to buy time right. to make decisions and give everybody an, a, an idea of how to digest everything. Yeah. But it's caused a tremendous amount of volatility. Uh, you know, you're having up markets of three, four percent a day. Next day, you're losing four percent. It's just a crazy time. And we think that will continue, but we've got to continue to monitor what we've got out there. We think we've got the portfolios positioned well. Are they immune from downside? Absolutely not. They're, they're equities, they're stocks. We know we're exposed. But ultimately, we're trying to hedge towards, you know, high, I, I guess, income producing securities, dividend payers. Yeah, there's, there's some sectors or, uh, that do better in times like these of volatility. And we, there's, there's some, you know, some type of uh, protection or buffers that we can put in place as well to, to limit it. And, but but like so, utilities, for instance, yeah, that would be as well. Gold, right? right? These are these are these Those, are asset classes that do well in times like these. Right, right. And and what we've noticed as the U.S. dollar has gotten stronger, a lot of companies are multinational, so it cuts into their earnings. And again, that's probably increased some of the stress on the overall market too, because everything's a global a, a global uh, system right now. Uh, with these companies because you know up to 50% of the revenues that they obtain or bring in every year is from overseas. Yeah. So. But I mean we're going to continue to have these ups and downs of the market. I mean everybody's uh, you know been exposed to the market some way shape or form for a period of time so you know some of these these good times happen these bad times happen as well uh, but again as long as we can control what we can control that's what you know maybe sectors that we, we can hold that's our job that's what we'll, we'll do from that end make sure your risk is in check and and have some protection built in. But, uh, but again, we'll just continue to monitor that. It all still comes back to the big picture and the financial plan as well, just to kind of keep everybody kind of focused and, and look. just remember this is a long-term game and not a day-to-day -day short term game. So, right, right. Um, but again, you know, we'll, we'll monitor this and, and try to keep you up to date as much as we can. But again, if you got any questions, let us know. Uh, reach out to us, again, phone call, email, 
on the website. You know, there's multiple ways to get a hold of us. Let us know how we can help you. But it's Brandon Rogers and Trent Bradshaw, Bradshaw Financial Planning and Mind Your Money. Thanks for joining us.